Hi everyone and welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday episode. Today's painting is based on this photo that was taken on a trip to Hawaii a couple of years ago, so let's get started. After you've taped the edges of the piece of paper that you're working with, uh, and this is completely optional, I just like that re really clean and crisp look, you want to start applying the first layer of your background. So what you're going to basically paint on is a lighter layer of uh, blue at the top fading into a darker blue on the bottom half of your page and you want to make sure that the blue is sort of a bowl shape so the, the darker blue rather will be a bowl that holds the lighter blue and the first two layers don't matter as much because you're going to believe me be painting on several layers until uh, you create the look that we're going for so don't be worried if your first two layers look a little bit messy. So here you can see that I'm painting on the second layer and you can see that bowl shape becoming a lot more evident here. The reason why we're painting on a bowl shape is because we want the angle of the water to appear uh, like you're looking from it from underwater and that you're looking at the surface of the water. So if you've ever seen any GoPro images that were taken underwater, or GoPro images in general are quite um, circular in shape, like they look like they've sort of been curved at the edges, so that's sort of what we're going for with this look. While your layer, your second layer is still wet, you want to begin to lift off some of the pigment uh, using your brush. So basically you're just striking the brush from the center outwards, lifting off as much pigment as you can, and then painting over it again with another layer. And you're basically going to repeat this process until you are happy with how it looks. So what we're creating with this uh, sort of star shape in the middle is we're giving the illusion that we are looking at the surface of the water from underneath. Uh, so basically when you look, when you're underwater and you, you look upwards towards the surface, you can tell that it's, it's the surface because it's a lot brighter there. So that's the illusion that we're going for. So once you've created as many layers as you need to be satisfied with uh, your gradient, you're going to start painting on some ripples in the water to make it look like it's water. And you're going to use a darker blue for this, just make sure that it's a little bit wet still so that those little details sort of bleed into the pigment. And then once that layer has dried, you're going to repeat the same process as you see me doing here, uh, using that same color, but because that layer is completely dry, the effects that you paint on now are going to look a little bit more pigmented and a little bit more intense and detailed. Uh, so this is sort of your opportunity to really uh, intensify the detail and make the water look realistic. Once you're satisfied with how your water looks, this is where you get to do the really easy uh, painting on of the silhouettes of your ocean creatures. So you can really paint on anything here, but the point is you want to go for the silhouette of your marine uh, creature as if it you were looking at it from the bottom. So you can Google some silhouette images of different uh, sea creatures so here I'm going for sharks or dolphins whatever you want to interpret these shadows as uh, but I also later painted on some sea turtles some other little fish just to add diversity to the ocean but you can really do whatever you want just uh, google those images so you have a really clean reference and you can even pencil them in first so that you're not making any uh, obvious mistakes. I just freehanded them here and you know they didn't turn out as realistic as uh, they probably would have if I had traced them onto my paper first so you can definitely opt for that if you want a more realistic view. You can also make the sea creatures that are in the center so on top of that whiter part appear a little bit lighter uh, and this will make, make it look even more realistic.
Once you're happy with your sea creatures, you can peel off the tape uh, from the borders of your paper if you opted to do that in the beginning, and it will reveal a beautiful and clean border for your painting. Don't forget to check out some of my previous uploads, guys. Uh, also consider subscribing to my channel and also like this video as it really helps me grow my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in next week's episode.